The views and opinions expressed on From the Mouths of Madness are that of the panel and not of the Geeks Under the Influence Network or their sponsors. Amazon.com and TeePublic.com. Listeners, beware. Coming straight from the mouths of madness, I am one of the hosts, Lowdown. With me, as always, is... F.U. Hunter. What's up, bitches? Oh, yeah. That's that <laughs> sweaty ball meter coming out. <laughs> oh, damn. yeah. It is the... We're talking... This is the dog days of summer right here. It's nasty. It's muggy. It's fucking August. Yep. Let's just say it's fucking August. It's disgusting. I don't, I don't know where you live at, listeners, but here on the East Coast, Central East Coast, it's nasty. It's, it's pretty disgusting. pretty high ball ball meter. Ball yeah, we're, meter, we're, yeah. They, I mean, uh, average August is like a nine out of ten, ten out of ten, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, most of the month. So, yeah, that's how that works. Yeah. Humidity, it's no. a fucking nightmare in itself. I could, why do people move to fucking Florida? Fuck that shit. I don't know. Like some of the biggest bugs I've ever seen in my life were there. Yeah. Uh, so I can tell you, yeah. <laughs> and but the, the and humidity. Then, and then you have, then you have you know you have, prehistoric fucking animals jumping out of the water pulling you in <laughs> you've got you've got the coast and then you have the gulf like where is there no humidity yeah in florida there's, there's there's absolutely i mean it's probably not. the only place probably worse is louisiana in I the can, swamp well i've been georgia's there. pretty fucking rough yeah, yeah, georgia rough. Georgia's, georgia's rough. yeah even in the even when in, in the colder climate it can be pretty georgia's yeah. one of those where i have family there i've gone there and it's you can't see that far away because the mist of humidity where it's so fucking thick that's just disgusting yeah yeah. I've, I've been to Sonoya, Georgia, where they filmed Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Long yeah. Time you went ago. to the you cafe and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I went. I mean, I You went everywhere. Didn't went you get kicked off a lot? deep in that town, huh? Did you get kicked off the recording lot? I didn't necessarily get kicked <laughs> off. You get kicked off a lot. <laughs> what, it ha- what had happened was is there was an old man, um, it, and he, he looked, at least from a distance, every bit of like, you know, 70, 65, 70. They could tell that he was like the weekend guard, just to like make sure tourists didn't come in. So you looked at me like I could take him. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, the thing was is that there was. You see him sizing up. He looks well, old the thing and slow. Was, is that everything is just like it is in the show? You know the 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 wall is there, right, mm-hmm. surrounding these this small part of the town that they film in, but there is like a little back entrance that's really you know small. So unless you're looking for it, you're not going to find it. It's not. I didn't like have to crawl into something. So I just went around. You would have though. Oh, I would have. I would. <laughs> yeah. I went in, and I mean, it was they don't film on the weekends there. So I mean, I went in, just looked around. I didn't like throw any of their secrets out online because I think it's a dick move. Or it is like a that. dick move. Yeah. But uh, I did. I did. You know, just some personal, like you know, just some personal ones for me. Uh, but I didn't go in anywhere necessarily. I just looked around. And got out. Uh, he saw me. Mm. We should probably introduce the Walking Dead yeah, trespasser. I'm lingering to finish yeah. talking first. So we got the we got the Walking Dead sluice over here. Yeah. Um, it was so a good, to, good time. So to join us for this Dog Days of Summer episode, uh, which we're we're going to be talking about our favorite werewolf films. Yes, um, it's 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 just it's just right. It just feels it's just werewolves in general. And just the idea, the of idea them. of werewolves. I mean. I don't. Uh, I know. I know. Our guest and I are on the same page. I don't know where if you Hunter and, and I are on that, but we are where it's at. So, uh, uh, joining us for that, we've got back since like episode like ten. <laughs> yeah, I was like, gonna say if even we're that. in like the eighties, and he's like episode ten. We've got Kyle Smash. What is happening? This motherfucker was on the pilot. Scary stories to tell in the dark. And he Where was he was <laughs> never supposed to ask us trivia questions. Ne- and, but he never saw the fucking movie. He watched the trailer. Oh, yeah. that yeah. There's he, that. And then There's that. questions at the end of the episode where he literally, the question was given the answer away, and then he wanted us to still answer it, yeah. which we both could <laughs> since he gave us the answer. Well, we both were like, hey, you gave us the answer. Yeah. And let's not let's not do that. I can't remember. I was like, what uh, Wolfman was It was, was something the... to do with Monster Squad, yeah. yeah. It was totally something to do with Monster Squad. I don't think it was. No, it, it totally was. was. It was. Was it? Uh, yes, yeah. it was something to do with the monster squad i know we'll have to go back and listen to that i don't know you do that that's that's not i'll bet you five bucks right now with something to do with monster squad oh no we don't we can just do a gentleman's bet i'm sure yeah yeah he doesn't want to lose money he might be right comfortable (laughs) enough uh bet money on that so (laughs) so but no one else better i know uh like i said uh smash and i's love for the lycanthrope is strong yeah like Um, like anthropy just the 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 myth behind it and how far it goes back 
Blow your fucking mind. Well, I, well, I think the myth actually ties so much more to, into humanity than like the only other one that's really close to human nature would be, would be the vampire. Yep. Um, but I think lycanthrope ties more into the beast that's within all humans, male or female. It doesn't matter. No gender specific thing, but there is a beast within every human being. And I think that is the true like generalization of lycanthrope and uh, vampires can touch that because it, it's not the same thing. You know, no, I mean that's completely different. It's completely I mean, you've different. got you've got a soul that is essentially tortured, mm -hmm. uh, you know, every cycle, and depending on the iteration of it, uh, you know, it can it feed into that and then turn whatever it wants, so that that's your different type of one. You know, that's like your full blood, your supernatural style. They can change at will, but then you have the ones who are tortured. You know, every cycle the full moon comes out, then the wolf comes out, and that wolf takes over. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, and uh, what we see, at least, especially in the early uh, iterations of the werewolf, um, is that it does tend to happen to a questionable moral character, hence the beast, right? Like, you don't really, see, you don't necessarily see a lot of, uh, you don't see a lot of purity in the person that is the, tends to be the main character of the werewolf film. Yeah, that becomes I, well, the, that is the where that is the werewolf, right? Like, so you bring it up to the original OG nineteen forty one Wolfman. He was not a per se nice guy, but he like, was still good human. He was still tortured by like you know, I mean, nobody's you know, unless you're fucked up in the head trying to kill motherfuckers, you know, like he yeah. was fucked up. He was he he, might, he he wasn't a great person, but he, in the same instance, he was tortured by being completely uncontrollable no, to no, the no. level of murdering people. I'm not saying that that's still not torture for them, but what I'm saying is I think that there is a trend, there, there is a connection to who actually, I, like, all right, they describe the werewolf as being a beast and they're just out for food and hungry and so on and so forth. But if you look at some of these uh, werewolf films, like, especially with the first, like the first kill, that's not like the main character, but like the kid, like, you know, the kill, like, there are a lot of connections with these people have already done questionable things in the film. Like his character was a spoiled, like launch, like Talbot was a spoiled little bitch. Yeah. I'm not saying he wasn't tortured by being a werewolf, but his soul was already tainted before be, oh, yeah, he was being attacked by the dog. And that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like that tortures them of in and of their own, but that's like the punishment of already being a shitty individual. Well, yeah, I mean that's more in the you know philosophical you know read between the lines subtext situation. This is what I've but, seen in watching these films. But you're not. I mean, I'm not. You're not entirely wrong. I mean, or, or I I agree. Even going back to you know any myth that you go and read on in terms of werewolf or wolfman or or however you want to pronounce it um, was always somebody tortured or doing something against the greater will of. Mm -hmm. whatever that might be yeah uh so i mean i i get that that's why you know starting then even till they tell the stories now a lot of them are a lot of them are tortured or you know uh i, I have a few examples that i want to bring up but i'll let i'll let fuck you hunter go because well, i'm just saying you've got again you got some people that want nothing to do with being a werewolf that are cursed a lot cursed with it and then throughout and then it's evolved into you have that version of it, and then you also have the version of motherfuckers that completely 100% bear hug that they can fucking turn into a werewolf and murder the fuck out of people they don't like. So it goes both ways. You no, know? and exactly. No, but 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 it does. It is as you say, where it evolved into that. Yeah. What I guess what I was saying was the origin of like the werewolf film, and we've only said like 41's. In 1941's The Wolfman. I mean, but since then we've had The Werewolf in London. We've had, there's other, uh, The Curse of the Werewolf. There's all these other old OG werewolf, wolfman style movies compared to what it is now, which we've got tons of what it's gone to now with the, with the mythology of the werewolf. But um, that fits into the evolution of the werewolf. And there's a couple films that I'll bring in that completely tie into what you're talking about. Yeah. But that again, that's the evolution, right? Uh, yeah, I will say that in terms of the werewolf and, and how, you know, like there's total, I would say there's several iterations of how a werewolf would exist in terms of how it would look, you know, your teen wolf and things like that. Oh, uh, God. depending on the, yeah, depending on the iteration of it, the only thing that's really changed is the ability to show the, uh, metamorphosis, metamorphosis, 
if mm-hmm. I can get that word correct. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> blah, 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 um, blah, blah, blah. Is, is that change, is the ability to show that change in a real-time setting, CGI special effects has definitely helped. You still, I don't think you get past your genuine makeup, like your your oh, yeah, we're gonna applied touch makeup. Oh, yeah, we're going to touch all up in there. And that. That, my, I have <laughs> yeah. films that, you know, are heavy on both sides. And I have so films like, that ruin that for me. Oh, yeah. The Depends, funny thing yeah. is, is it's, it's not a great movie anyway, and don't, Take it that I'm saying this. One of those that shows both styles of of characters, like I was saying earlier, is the Wolfman remake, where Benicio del Toro's <laughs> character is fucking tortured and cursed, and then and it's, <laughs> it's fucking stupid. But Anthony Hopkins loves the shit out of being a werewolf. Yeah. And you have both ones where the you know, door like, tie me up, fucking do whatever, I don't want to kill people. And Anthony Hopkins is like, I'm going to kill some bitches. Like, he's so excited about being a werewolf. I will say, uh, that, uh, that is going to, uh, <laughs> like, end the talk of, uh, the, t- the, the remake because that will be, we will go more in depth on our feelings that of should that. Be a, have you done, in a killer done like filler, a chopping block. Killer so, filler. That would be a killer, killer filler. filler. Yeah, because okay. it's a remake. Oh, um, fair enough. So that's going to be a killer filler coming out soon uh, that you can listen to our full feelings on that. But that, but that, that does I'm happen. Saying, that it's, is it's the one good, of the rare ones because yeah. usually it's so definitive, well, like tortured or the fucking werewolves from Underworld. Shit I've like got that. so I've got a I've got a good um uh, and this is the one I was planning on starting with, but this is where it's going is yeah. a good uh, comedy horror comedy aspect of that, and we could look at 2005's Wes Craven's film Cursed. Ah, with Christina Ricci and uh, what's his fucking face? Uh, 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 the Social face. Network, fucking Zombie Land, fucking oh yeah, uh, uh, that fucking dude, uh, z- 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 something Berg, uh, fuck whatever his Eisenberg. name is, Eisenberg. Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> so he plays a younger brother, and he's like the fucking outcast in school, right? Like he gets picked on, gets shipped out of him, and she's like this trying to work up in this, you know, uh, very uber, you know, click publication magazine era right and so she's looked on like normally like the doty girl versus you know and like getting talked about with what she wears but everyone like ma- she- makes a point to mention what she wears when she walks in after she was after she was bit and like oh god there's this aura because the aura from her so she's like kind of digging it but she knows something's wrong where Eisenberg's character's like no nah, fuck this I just beat the shit out of the wrestling champ fuck yeah I'm into this shit yeah. but it was that's a total th- same thing where like he's like yeah you know at the end of the movie after you know like they th- quote unquote thought they killed the head fucking you know werewolf they were like it's easy for you to say you're not in fucking high school because he's like no nah, i was I, I i went from zero literally to king dick in like a day <laughs> like king dick you know uh you know decided to confess his feelings mm. also to jesse eisenberg's character <laughs> yeah. and you know both oh those, there's that oh yeah. there's a whole yeah oh yeah whole um, <laughs> you know both there's joshua jackson by the way who who he plays the main wolf he actually did really good in that compared yeah. to dawson's creek first off i mean he, yeah he's <laughs> and not, urban legends oh god <laughs> Oh God! Hey, yeah. don't, there's you know there's a place for shows like Dawson's Creek. Okay, there is. It's just not you're right hitting, now. You're hitting. You're hitting. You're hitting Kyle. <laughs> it's, just where not, it hurts. it's just not right you're now. You're hitting Actually, a little my, hurts. my favorite thing he's done besides the Mighty Ducks, Mighty oh, Ducks, Mighty Ducks. Yeah, the Mighty uh, Ducks movies are awesome. Uh, is, is Fringe great TV show? Yeah, definitely. No, Fringe go was good. It. That this was that like his interim. The, though. That rides the you know the science fiction and horror. I'll it tell does you right now. There's some episodes you could do. That were very horror oriented, horror aspects. I, and so I agree. Just like this, just like werewolves. And like the way they showed the metamorphosis in there was totally, you know, they stole it from so many oh, different. Oh, the metamorphosis in Curse was garbage. It was all CGI. It looked like shit. Well, I think it was meant to and be. And that can be cheap. distracting it sometimes was. when. It was. When the change. Because we have strong ass move, movies with the with the changing process. That's what you want to see. Outside and then the there's some movies the where like it's like, all right, this is working, and then that happens, and you're like, uh, I will no. say that uh, Wes Craven's 2005 it, Cursed was tongue in cheek, but goddamn, man, like <laughs> that whole. I mean, they they spent a lot of time showing the transforma- the the transformation. It was garbage, <laughs> like hot fucking steaming garbage. Yeah, Where did that, that budget go? <laughs> the yeah, fuck? Yeah, and he just came. He's coming off Scream. It's like it's, it's like ten years. It's like nine years after Scream. 
and and the two sequels because that came out after the Scream Three, right? Like motherfucker, <laughs> like what are you doing? It was I swear it's almost like he was trying to make it that like little sleeper horror movie like Zombieland was, you know, which yeah. kind of caught everybody off guard. But Zombieland was really good. <laughs> well, that's what I mean though is that that one lived up to it, but yeah. I think Curse was trying to be like one of those. You know, cult, and it does. It has a certain cult following. I mean, it it's does. still it's out there. It's pretty. I mean, Jesse Eisenberg does a great job at first of not being Jesse Eisenberg, which well, the dialogue's first, ridiculous. Well, no, but... at first I was like, okay, this, okay, so this is one of his first films. I get it, and then, uh, then like, um, uh, you know, it kicks in gear after he gets bit, and I'm like, oh shit, okay, there's Jesse Eisenberg. Like it, it, like they do a good job of kind of, gear, and then I'm always w- ready to watch juicy ass Christina Ricci. Um, <clears throat> Whammy, just, yeah, yeah, seriously, she's, yeah, she's gorgeous. She, she's but who gorgeous. was the uh, who was the the ended up? It actually ended up being some sort of like you know like romantic nonsense, you know, threesome situation with uh, Greer. What's her name? Uh, she played in the movie Cursed. She plays the um, oh Judy Greer. She was in Judy Halloween. Greer? For those who don't right. know, she was in Judy the Halloween Greer. remakes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So she was in that. She was actually she was actually the antagonist. Like yeah, she was pissed off because uh, you mentioned or, like, or excuse me, the protagonist Dawson Creek uh, dude uh, Joshua Jackson. Joshua Jackson uh, <laughs> didn't like he fucked her, and then apparently you can become a werewolf by getting nutted in. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know if it was watch that. out for the yeah. wolf man's fur. <laughs> of that, if you like, oh, wolf batter. <laughs> yeah, if you like wolf, bat- <laughs> wolf, wolf batter. baby batter. Wolf, yeah. wolf baby batter. <laughs> You got a little wolf baby batter on you. Oh, although I mean, I mean, you know, honestly, if you can get it from being bit or scratched in some iterations, it would make sense. That if then jizzed on would if you're yeah, gonna yeah. blow your load like that, pretty much would carry all yeah. that DNA right into. So, imagine there's like some werewolf thing. It's like so I was attacked and scratched my face, and that's how I became a yeah. werewolf. It's like how about you got bit in the leg? How about you, uh, wolf jizz? I don't know. Like that's how I became. It. I mean, he pulled. He pulled. We're not out. all the same level here, apparently. He, he pulled out, and his pullout game was strong, but he yeah. shot in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> I told really him to put it on my chest. I, I started getting stronger and wanting red meat, and then. <laughs> but no, that's exactly right. Though with that particular film, it, it was uh, it was a, like a it was a revenge for her character to kill all the competition because yeah. she wanted him so bad. It was just a fucking ridiculous plot. It was ridiculous. It was. It was. I mean, it's, it's a movie, but I I don't hate watching it. You know. No, no. If it comes the werewolf, the, the 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 horror aspect, the suspense of the first two thirds of the movie. Before you realize where they went with it at the opening of the club, you're like, okay, this is this this is like, I mean, jump, yeah, I mean, jump like once or twice is a little creep, and then it's like, oh fuck me, yeah, <laughs> I've watched it once and uh, yeah. once, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the the movie's worth at least a watch for viewers that haven't watched it, but um, I, I so we definitely mentioned the first 1941 werewolf, I mean, and the Wolfman, excuse me, like. I've got to say that is my favorite of the universal class, you know, universal classic horror movies, monster movies. Man, that's a tough um, call. No, yeah, dude, I love. Well, it's a, it set the stage for. Uh, I mean, everything visually. Well, no, it, it, it was one of the later was. ones. Even though we talk about, ones, even though we talk about how much and Dracula were first. No, I'm saying in terms of the uh, of werewolves. Oh yeah, set yeah. the precedence. It did. He's kind of that middle ground though of where Dracula is just Dracula. He's a mean, bad motherfucker who wants to kill people. He doesn't give two shits. And Frankenstein's monster, who's like, oh, I'm, I'm, kill, I'm sorry, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna kill you. I don't want to. I want to pet the little girl, not throw her in the lake and murder her. <laughs> but like. Wolfman's definitely that middle ground of like when you know he's human, like yeah, he's an asshole, but he still doesn't want to like kill anybody. To when he he's Wolfman, give two shits, you're in his way, he's gonna fucking kill the fuck Incl- out of you, including Dracula, including in, Dracula, in several yeah, yeah. Races. and uh, yeah, and Abbott Costello. Wait, no. and he fights. Well, he fights Frankenstein <laughs> in uh, the was it? House, it was either House of Frankenstein or House of Dracula. Like they go. He goes. He goes at it with Dracula, and he goes at it with Frankenstein. So yeah. one of the yeah. So he he doesn't give a fuck. He's a beast. Because I think I remember the cover being it's uh, Frankenstein like doing this, and then the Wolfman's a lot shorter, so he's pushing up like that. Yeah, you know, away. Yeah, the, they can't see what I'm doing, but you know what I'm talking. about. I know what you're talking about. And then we notice after that, it started to trend to send into kind of goofy Wolfman movies. Like, you know. The Curse of the Wolfman, it came out later. It was more of the Hammer but Wolfman, but it wasn't like... When you're getting into that, yeah, you, you get the Hammer films a little bit, but it 
I don't know. We could just kind of go into this next one, but uh, I think I know what you're going with. But that and that's my number one favorite. But go ahead, you go ahead. Go ahead. It's a coin toss here, but I'm going to throw out the howling. But it's, oh no, because that's it's not. literally we're literally that's talking about, we're like literally talking about the same year. So yeah, because but that's it not was my weird. favorite. It's when they decided that was the year that we're going to start making fucking werewolf movies again. Now, I don't know which one came out first. I mean, they're the same year, so I don't know if it really matters. I think well, Howling came out first. but I'm talking about release dates. I don't know which one came out first. Yeah. So I think the Howling came out first. So the Howling is actually my third favorite, um, which is an amazing movie. Like It's not even my top one. It's just what legitimized werewolf movies, in my opinion. Totally. No, like... The Howling, you think? That cons- legitimized it? In terms considering of like making it a and- good horror movie that people were actually excited to see. Yeah, no, uh, totally. Because Howling. the next movie that I'm pretty sure you're going to talk about... Oh, yeah, yeah. Also did the same thing, but with a... Much more comedic flair, which is American Werewolf in London. Yeah, uh, and that's yeah, the one. Yeah, it did. And but, that's but, the thing is that one is it got the attention more than Howling because first special effects Academy Award Rick, went Rick to it. Baker. Right. Yeah. Well, again, uh, got that, that shit. That he got that spe- uh, Academy Award for the as well the as special should. effects for so like, many things. That transition done. was fucking yeah. Rest now in, rest in peace. Re- seriously, and and the Howling transition is good. Like oh, it's no no right. one yeah, but no one not, think, no close. one say we're taking away from that. But the American Werewolf in London transition, <laughs> woo. And and there's your contrast right there. So American Werewolf in in London. That what that metamorphosis was amazing. Yes, like, and it yes. still holds up today. Oh yeah. And then yeah. you look at American Werewolf in Paris. Don't Fuck why? You. No. <laughs> no. Why are you doing that? Because, why? because do we need we're to set rules it? about Dude. not bringing up God shitty, fucking terrible sequels? Absolutely not. If you're going to bring actually up, like a remake, it wasn't even like a no, sequel. No, it was a complete remake. Yeah. Uh, and oh, that's and, a killer or filler. We should totally yeah. hold on that. Oh, yeah. that's a special one. That yeah. could be a, that could be a beautiful disaster mm. as well. Yeah. Um, I remember seeing I remember seeing that when it came out in theaters. And, with Bush on the soundtrack, oh, oh yeah, with a little little grunge on the yeah. soundtrack. Oh, got teeth, like whatever that song was about. Mouth, yeah, like, mouth. I got mouth. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, still ninety nine two six. Got mouth. All right, so I'm moving away from that shit show that you're bringing up. It's amazing. Oh, that, I think that was your error, wasn't it? Was it? <laughs> what I think is interesting though is that. Howling and Merrick Werewolf came in the same year, but there's two different kind of ways of handling it. Where Howling is trying very much to be much more of a horror movie, Merrick Werewolf has horror elements. Like a lot. But, yeah. But it's still more of a comedy. It's a com- but there's a lot of horror elements, dude. His friend is totally rotting. Right. But he, he has, like, de- he has okay. like wolf demons. But he's dreams. complaining about being dead. He's like, being dead sucks. I mean, but he's like, still a zombie. I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Listen, between the two, I would go with American Werewolf in London in terms of setting uh, that that one legitimized. And I'll tell you why. Is that I think you're right. The Howling was more horror. Yes. Uh, but American Werewolf in London caught you off guard. It totally because, did. Because of the humor. And you weren't my, expecting that shit. And then the metamorphosis, in my opinion, makes it a far more superior film that would legitimize the werewolf. And I think that that's what did it. And American Werewolf in London caught you off guard within the first 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. So they, they, they get dropped off. They go in the pub. Everyone's being weird. They're making American jokes, being Americans, as we do. And then they- <laughs> They're being then, so American. They're like, hey, uh, my, yeah. hey, guy, can you help me out? They literally like, should have been wearing a shirt saying, yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm American. American. Yeah. And then they wander in through the moors. And then, bef- like I said, before the 10-minute counter clicks, you see like claw across the gut, crawl across the fucking throat. Like they like went all in for the horror aspect of this werewolf fucking jack up hardcore in the first 10 minutes. Yeah. Now, the howling is definitely more of a slow burn werewolf story. Like you get that weird sex dungeon yeah porno place scene <laughs> you talking about the slow mo when he walks in is like, that dude, what the bush song plays it's so, no i'm talking about the howling oh in the howling in the howling they catch the werewolf in like a sex the same peep show the place. same scene as an american werewolf in paris also <laughs> oh, well, they cross the movie you are That's breaking the rules dude, man stop, stop talking it. about that fucking movie Makes so me happy <laughs> but you know he's in the sex booth when he turns uh-huh. in the howling so like you don't really get any hardcore violence. So as far as for the violence aspect, American Werewolf in London knocks out of the park in the first Plus, first main scene. That last 20 minutes of American Werewolf, like it's just oh, when so he, much innocent bystander deaths. Oh, it's dude. hilarious. Where he, when he breaks he's, out he's of the metal London. and jumps on this dude's fucking throat, like that shit's epic. I just hope it's that epic. like they had 
they had a little bit of Le- that, that downtown London that they were filming, and then just a bunch of bystanders. It's like, is that a fucking wolfman biting people? Like, <laughs> but I will say, so it's not with American Wolf in London, though. Also, it's not necessarily a wolfman. It's more he, of a wolf. He was more of a wolf. Yeah. He went into more of a wolf form, whereas the Howling was a wolf man. Yeah, right, so wolf people, because there was a whole community in a camp wolf, of wolf, wolf orgies, people. Yeah, and that transformation was still bad. When, she, when they break into the office and Dude Man transforms and they show every shot of it i don't have the special effects artist involved with that name right current but that month that that was a fucking awesome transformation it was, yeah. it, was it was sec it's second to me as far as transformations it's go weird that to they american came out World the same London. year because yeah. it's like the, the, you know the dude for the howling was just like dude when you see this transformation holy fuck and then it's like what's that American what? American werewolf? And then fuck me because yeah. I mean, it, it's, yes, I got to go back to being a waiter. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, the no, transformation. Joe Dante went on to a lot of shit. Oh no, I never did. <laughs> the transformation in American werewolf is by far when you say werewolf to this day. Yeah, still to this day. Oh, no, it holds up. It definitely yeah. holds up. It holds up a lot better than the Paris one for 100. <laughs> percent <laughs> Fuck you, man. God damn it. <laughs> but uh, it the howling still holds up too. Like if you. Rewatch the howling, like especially that, like the, so he started to transform in the uh, sex booth, but it was dark. You didn't really see a lot, but you see they make sure you see everything in, when he's in the office doing it, mm-hmm. and it's like it's a lot. And then like the way that ended, that movie even ended on a comedic. Beat, oh yeah, with where you see the beat fucking. Yeah. You see the they're like frying hamburgers after she fucking turned a werewolf on national like, TV. Oh, she's a werewolf. Like, I mean, even the howling at a certain point didn't take itself seriously. No, no, no. Like. So, I mean, those two movies, yeah, they came out the same year, and they are equally awesome for their own rights. And that's where I put it. Now, my personal favorite, American Wolf in London, The Howling is an awesome movie. Yeah. You know? I'll throw this out there. That's not even my top werewolf movie, either of, the, either of them. Oh, well, my, well, uh, is, your favorite might be my second favorite. Well, let's see. I'm just well, going to throw go. it out there. Let's go. Dog Soldiers. Yeah, it's my second favorite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dog Soldiers? Oh, you haven't seen that? Oh, no. oh we need a movie night. We need a movie night. Me. Oh, dude, so so. Oh, I just really, re- I just rewatched that earlier today. I was like, damn, I've watched a lot of fucking werewolf oh, movies. Oh, dude, it's like, so good. I'm it's so good. sad that you, as much oh. as you are passionate about werewolf movies, Kyle. you haven't seen this. Well, I mean, Smash, I we're gonna, we need to have a movie. I have so much time in a life. You have any time to watch American Werewolf in Paris? All right, so well, you need I, me time to watch Dog Soldiers, okay. right? I was, you know, like six. <laughs> so okay, if you have, would you want you want to, you want a mandate where we watch Dog Soldiers? Because it's amazing. Yeah, no, no, I'm always basically for... it's set in like Wales, and there are these military. They get sent out on like a recon. Re- yeah, re- some some, some, kind of some bullshit training some mission. Shit. Yeah, and they find out that uh, there's werewolves out there. So it's military versus werewolf. It turns into pretty oh, much aliens. It's amazing. It's it's yeah, pretty much like aliens, colonials, but way more horror. Colonial than Marines versus xenomorphs, but but way more horror. Like aliens was definitely more action. This is this is definitely leans more on the horror because there's just, there's yeah. like How showing many, a werewolf chaw somebody's fuck chew somebody's fucking head off and throw it saying, at the people. Effects, the practical <laughs> effects are Dude, fucking on so point. good. And that's the thing is it's because it's just dedicated to werewolves like in my opinion it's probably one of the best practical effects movies involving werewolves where you see all the gore and shit like that because you got movies that have you know werewolves show up with vampires and stuff like that this one dedicated to just how can werewolves fuck you up in so many ways 2005 2002 2002 so recent in terms of werewolf yeah Uh, recent but i graduated in 02 so almost 20 years ago well well, in regards to werewolf movies specifically considering we're talking about 81 which leads me to a side note like i I feel like werewolves haven't been done justice in the horror world in the last 20 years (sighs) really have they well answer answer me yes or no so no, uh, they've taken uh, second fiddle to vampires yeah. and then put in a lot of vampire properties. Fuck like that! No, I'm talking blood. about specific werewolf properties. So yeah. okay, so been done dirty. Yeah, been done dirty. I, I I agree. They have the. I would say the the only one that would stand out in terms of a a cinema depiction of a werewolf was probably um, the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is the third Harry Potter movie, mm. because in that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, one of the main characters was a werewolf and yeah. their, their depiction of it was a little, not my favorite. I didn't, I wasn't particularly a fan of the way they showed the change in the movie, but it fit the universe. 
because it's uh, a different universe. Like it's, it's a, well, Harry Potter is a whole different. It's a whole yeah, different thing. That's a whole different know? thing. But the, uh, in terms of having a werewolf that was that was wildly out there in a cin- cinematic format, that would be it. Okay. Otherwise, I, I can only think of on TV. Yeah. I'll throw it in. It's not a movie dedicated to werewolves, but the segment with them is oh, I love. We can, we're going to we're going to touch the segments later. We're going to touch. I got that. We okay. We ha, I have a oh, whole yeah, oh, section to... of segments of werewolves. Oh yeah, they've come. Oh, like, okay, planned. right. Like I've I got right that. here, right here, <laughs> <laughs> right here. So uh, I I know I, I know exactly where you're going. I'm just saying of the modern time that is probably one of the better ones. But my and, thing, my question was, my, my statement was dedicated. They done dirty. We have not had a dedicated werewolf film. That has done justice, to my mind, to lycanthrope. Even in, a, in, a, in a, I don't even bring a fucking underworld because that well, does I was, not. I was gonna say I've heard <laughs> a movie no, called listen. Wolf of uh, Snow Hollow. That's no, I haven't watched that yet though. No, I haven't watched that. Either. I, I have watched, watched that, one. but yeah. like, and maybe someone heard us and said, "Oh, let's make a fucking badass werewolf movie well, again." Well, look, they're out there. The uh, werewolf, uh, werewolf within, uh, mm. or werewolves within. Uh, I had not, so I I bought it. And then I had I meant to watch it before I got here, and unfortunately I, I I couldn't fit it in to watch it. I cannot wait to, but I've seen clips, and uh, I saw the first like fifteen minutes. It it's it's definitely uh, it could could potentially be one of those movies. Okay. Uh, so okay. keep an eye out for that. I, I have like I said, Werewolves I'm, Within. Werewolves Within. It just came out. It's a comedy, technically, like a dark comedy. I'm fine with that. And it's got the um, I believe the the Verizon lady. Um, Who's in it? She's apparently a comedian. I don't. The know. Verizon lady? Not the yeah. You know, like uh, what's her face from Geico or not Geico, but uh, Progressive. Progressive. Yeah. yeah. Flow. Yeah. Flow. That's like their flow. Ah. Uh, okay. All right. But now, the good. But good. Now, are we, are we say, counting comedy? I, I will say that there is a newer one that I've seen that's not labeled so much as a comedy. Uh, it's more of a foreign independent film that I recently watched. It came out in 2015. It's called Howl. Okay, and it's basically that um, the, it's centered around the main character is this guy who works as security guard on British train, a, a, a European train system. So you know when he when he goes out, he's going out through woods, desolated right. area, getting to the next major populated area. That's his thing. Well, they hit something on the tracks, and then you know madness ensues, and you've got people getting you know fucking you know guts ripped out. Uh, what's what's the word for that? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Disembowelment. Disembowelment. There you go. Uh, <laughs> getting disemboweled. And it's kind of like a train to Busan, but with werewolves. All right. But the werewolves, when you see them, don't necessarily look like your standard werewolf. It, it literally looks more of the hybrid. It's like these, like. On a train, you say? Yeah. It's like Under Siege 2 with werewolves. I was going to say Train to Busan with werewolves. Yeah. We'll, yeah. Seagal. <laughs> we'll go with Train to Busan. Steven Seagal is a werewolf. Man, we'll go. calling it now. Smash is all about the fucking shitty sequels Dude, here, man. Jesus like... Christ. We'll, <laughs> go, we'll go Train to Busan with werewolves. If you've never seen Train to oh, Busan, excuse me. If you've never seen Train to Busan. I have not. You. Oh, well, that's a whole oh, other episode. Oh, <laughs> God. That movie will have you like so, wanting, to, needing, needing something to slow your heart rate after you watch it. Really? Oh, dude. I'm t- uh, I'm t- well, I'll take your. Hunter, take am I your... wrong? No, it's fucking awesome. It's but. intense as fuck, dude. Train to Busan is very intense. Especially to be writing shit down. We're introducing yeah. all kinds of movies. Tonight. Take notes, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you'll give it to me after this. Yeah. No, Train to Busan is very anxiety, zombie level shit. Like, fast zombie. We're talking 20 days later, fast zombie. Set in a hugely populated area such as uh, Korea. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. That's all you need. All right. Um, yeah, but no, amazing movie. At least but the music will be good in the background. This is. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to the music. I was too busy worried about somebody getting yeah. fucking chomped. <laughs> BTS wasn't on it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but how is similar to that? But the only thing is, it does get it. it I guess it it does get sort sort of comedic because towards the end, like the final battle fight scenes, like yeah, because they're not like. Oh, like they like some of them look like wolves and, and like the main one that is attacking them during the movie when he finally gets on the train spoiler that one actually gets killed doesn't look like a wolf it looks like it's in the middle of a human and a wolf okay um but like all, the old, all like the old Halloween makeup you used to get at CVS or something kind of yeah it's like it's got fangs and shit but the jaw's not protruded and right. none of that shit whereas the rest of them have the protruded jaw they look they have the snarl you know the the nose and the eye line extends uh it's a fun movie i'll rewatch it 
if I find it cheap to buy, I'd buy it. But it's <laughs> it's worth. It, I would say out of out of anything that's come out wolf wise for being a specific werewolf movie recent. This is 2015. This is the last six years. Yeah, it's at the top because I've seen shit. I'm gonna throw this out there, and it is not leans in the horror movie, but leans more into kind of comedy. But it has legit practical effect kills in it, and that's uh, two movies here. That's Wolf Cop and another Wolf Cop. Because even though wait, isn't there a Wolf Cop, Wolf Cop two, and then a third one's another that, Wolf that's, Cop? That's only two. It's Wolf Cop, and then the, the second one's another Wolf Cop. Which literally the poster of that is him posing like uh, Cobra, so it's mm. kind of fucking awesome. So what's better? Ah, man, they're equally good, and they they're both, both good, and they have equally have amazing practical effects kills in them. So it's it's they know they're silly. They completely acknowledge that shit, but he kills motherfuckers in both movies pretty hardcore. Yeah, no, well, and the whole <laughs> basis is he turns into a fucking werewolf and then kill and then still has the mentality of being able under can be able to control his wolf form. But takes advantage of that by taking out drug dealers and taking out so any like motherfucker who gets his face. Hulk, Professor Werewolf. Pretty yeah, much, yep. It's, dude, yep. It's, Sher- it's, Sher- it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's so good. It's Again, a lot of it doesn't fun. even try to say, Get oh, we're a horror movie. Hide. They're yeah. not like, oh, this is fucked up what's happening to the guy. They're like, yeah, isn't that funny? He's a werewolf and he can kill people. No, he doesn't. It, like, they gives two shits. Yeah. That's probably where that movie gives respect to werewolves because they go, yeah, he's badass. He's the so, be- most badass motherfucker in the town. I town. completely forgot about wolf cop but like that is a recent good wolf i guess because it's a comedy that I, yeah we haven't had like a serious one like i guess like i'm I, I need to be more finite like we haven't had a serious one because wolf cop is amazing another wolf cop is amazing they're right. both fucking awesome they're the not name horror movies is, in any way well, no the, the no the name in itself it does not scream yeah, something like, that caused well, it's like fear. maniac cop yeah. maniac cop wasn't a serious yeah. fucking horror movie watch out for the wolf cop yeah, yeah like, like nobody's like, 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 like man bear like yeah. this is not yeah. one of those yeah. things that you, that's why they call man but it has wolf, uh, it has werewolf, two elements of, of horror movies which is werewolves and fucking bloody fucking kills it's just they they embrace the comedy more than the horror now I will I will bring on about a, a werewolf movie that almost crosses the line of it, well it's definitely a horror film but it almost crosses the line of uh, family like this is what you can watch at five p.m. with your family fi- feel and that would be Silver Bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So the, the music and everything it's like do 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 do. It's so eighties. Like, so eighties. So eighties. It's like, wait, I'm watching Growing Pains or am I watching a horror movie? What am I watching? So I'm gonna say something that might surprise both of you. Mm-hmm. Now I have two categories for, you know, like werewolf movie. I have my favorite werewolf movie, and I have my favorite movie that has a werewolf in it. Mm-hmm. Okay? So it's two different things. Mm-hmm. All right. Silver Bullet is hands down my favorite werewolf movie. Really? Wow. Hands down. Really? I I thought it, it was going to be your favorite with a werewolf in it. No. Really? That's wow. Monster Squad. Ah, <laughs> I knew. I, 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 yeah. I, I, thought, yeah. I thought that was going to be your favorite werewolf movie. No, Monster Squad to me has the my favorite looking werewolf. Okay. And my also my favorite transition. Uh, it His is, transition was beast. Uh, I will say that Monster Squad has one of the most beautifully transitioned or meta, like uh, you know man to wolf uh, change that I've ever seen, and it, I've watched it now uh, thousands of times, and even as just recently as like two weeks ago. Uh, and, it's Monster Squad. Yeah, and I watch it all the time, and when I watch that scene, I almost just rewind it for that, like go to it just for that scene, just that change. What you know, he's gonna kill your son. He's like spitting out. And his face is changing, it's bubbling up, but it's done in the booth under lighting that just gives it like depth and longevity in terms of how it looks on screen. Yes, it agreed. It's not something that uh, you look at and go, God, that's terrible. To this day, it fucking stands up. It does. And I one agree. of the parts that really hits you when you watch the movie is when they do finally fucking shoot him with a silver bullet and he's lying there dying and he just looks at him and says, Thank you. Thank like, you. And then yeah. that, that yeah. hits you. Like, because oh, like, you could tell throughout the movie before oh, he. Babe. Yeah. Before he turns into it, like, you know, he's like, you know, like, you know, lock me up. Like, he's begging people. And then. Well, you see, he's coming off the uh, Talbot, the Lon Chaney yeah. esque Wolfman, where Lon. No, but well, Talbot's it, his, like... his, 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 it is Talbot. Yeah. The character is. No, it is. Like, that's who they're all supposed to be. Oh. Is these small these so I, never, I never knew are, that. Yes, so, so he is Talbot, still cursed in yeah. the eighties. Yeah, <laughs> before he became the uncle and Napoleon not, Dynamite. So in the, yeah. 
the original <laughs> the original so i think lawrence talbot was the original name yes lawrence right? talbot With larry talbot yeah, yeah and then it became um and and in monster squad it's larry talbot so well i mean they actually they throughout the original uh universal monster movies he does get referred to towards the end as larry talbot but yes it's lawrence talbot right That's, yeah he's the son of or whatever the fuck Talbert that was yeah. that's why he comes home in the first place in the original Wolfman movie yeah and the beauty you know? is that it was it was just enough of a change so that like uh Universal or anybody couldn't come after them uh, when they did yeah. the movie yeah. so that's yeah. if you notice like there's these slight variations on how they look even the mummy but the way they do it is you know they they made it look just different enough and then I love they were the Frank fine. in that movie though the the what I love Frank Frankenstein in that movie. Frank, yeah. Frank in that movie is awesome. Well, first off, it has, and that's a movie that, in terms of a werewolf, I put the timer on you. Movie, by the way, see how long we're gonna talk about Monster Squad. We will not. We I will try. I, right I was gonna here. say I don't. I don't I trust this motherfucker. Right for for Universal Monsters, <laughs> it's my favorite one where they're all together. Yeah, personally, and they do it in such a way that, like, even Frankenstein when he like looks at his own face in a Halloween mask feels sad. Mm -hmm. Like, is this how I look to the rest of the world? That self recognition, like, it was a cool moment that Frankenstein has really never ever gotten, and that movie did it, and it just slid under the radar in, in that way. And uh, it's not, it's fun, it's awesome that you bring it up because I honestly don't th I think that was the first and to this date like only movie that actually tried to seriously have all four characters in a movie about them because any of the houses mm -hmm. the mummy wasn't involved with that no it yeah. was just the three it was just Dracula, the frankenstein and the wolfman yeah. so in the original universal like you didn't have all four so that might that might be the first which would make it the best because it's the only two like they waited to have it all done like they waited like they at that point they were like oh, we're gonna do this we're gonna do this fucking yeah. all right because I can't think of a single movie where all four were in it in the original Universal uh, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Yeah, I can't. I can't at all. Come on, so. Kyle. You, look, you know why I brought up Monster Squad. You Say the line. Just say the line. Because when people say Monster Squad, what is There's the one line, one line that everybody line. says? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. What is it? Uh, you know, kick him in the nards. Kick him in the nards. What do you mean he ain't got nards? Do it. Do it. Boom, right in the nuts. Wolfman's got yeah. nards. Wolfman's got nards. So as soon as you know that, you know he was going to come up in this episode because Wolfman's got nards. nards it's yeah, always yeah, going to be yeah. to the point the documentary that about the making of Did Monster I get Squad. You that shirt? Yes, I had. It's called I was, I, well, Wolfman's I have, got nards. I had it at home, and it was like I just it was filthy, and I was like <laughs> I got to wash it, but I mean it stunk. So I was like, all right, I'll leave it at home today. Because he wears it all the time. No, I got it for his birthday one year because it's Wolfman got nards. Yeah. I yeah. was like, oh, Kyle's going to love this. Um, like if I know it's anything Monster Squad, I know I can buy it, and Kyle will be fine. With oh it. yeah, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's either that or Ghostbusters. I'm yeah. totally happy with either. <laughs> one of the two. Yeah, either of the two. But, um, but it, yeah. back to Silver Bullet. The, my reason, like I, so Monster Squad, it's it's amazing in so many ways, and it's one of my favorite movies, top of all time, mm -hmm. uh, my favorite movie. But in terms of a werewolf movie, Silver Bullet, and I know that it comes from a from from you know King a, Property, a, yeah, King Cycle Property, the Werewolf, yeah, um, which is way more. <laughs> so uh, it's one, but that movie actually makes every team where I watch it. I watched it not uh, probably three weeks ago. Yeah, I watched it like literally. Three hours ago. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, so I watched it today. So before. the scene when Corey Haim is on the bridge at night. Oh yeah, when you set the fireworks off. Fireworks yeah. off. That to me, even watching it now as an adult, I'm still like, man, what the fuck is gonna? Ha you need to get out of there. Roll, yeah. go. Like in my mind, yeah. I'm like, bitch, get because, the fuck out of there. Because they show somebody in the woods yeah. watching them moving towards them. Yeah. Like that's fucking Why creepy. Why are you still there? <laughs> and they fuck throw that. And <laughs> just to fuck with you, you're not like run. You're like roll as fast as you can. Like you got a gas powered <laughs> beast machine. But I'm just saying, you know, Norm wants to say run. You this time you're like r roll, like roll, roll. <laughs> hurry. Well, you can tell like Stephen Downhill, King was hopefully. directly involved with the adaptation of from uh, that was. story to film. Yeah, so. he, uh, he was involved with the screenplay, I, but like the story story is definitely way more hardcore than than the oh sure, than what, sure. What it's happened. a lot more but violent but can we can we talk about gary Busey in that movie oh we can God talk damn. about one of his best roles ever 
Silver well, Bullet. Silver Bullet. But this is he was pre- a, he was amazing. It's pre this is pre motorcycle accident. Yeah. This yeah. is pre brain damage, which sucks. Again, n- no one's talking negative about Gary Busey. He literally suffered traumatic brain Gary damage. Busey's this is not there the Buddy Holly uh, story where he got nominated for an Academy Award and he was actually a legit actor this time period in his um, yeah. Like career. Silver Bullet happened like three years after the Buddy Holly movie. Yeah. Like, he was le- he's a legitimate actor. What we got after the accident was like under siege, uh, <laughs> like like hey, Predator Two. Under hey, siege is good. Under he, siege, is but he good. was suffering from brain damage at that point. Hey, well, he, you know saying. what? You know he did all right. He did he all right. Did, he looked good. Yeah, but it wasn't realized. It wasn't realized to like 2008. I think I was reading where he was talking to his therapist, and they're like, "Oh, there might be more damage than we thought." To your brain, I'm, y'all are taunting yeah. me with this Gary Busey talk, and I'm trying to keep us on point because I could have a whole filler about Gary Busey and the Gingerbread Dead Man that uh, we ima- covered a while can back. Can you imagine him disasters. as a werewolf, though? Dude, Playing a werewolf oh on God. screen. Yeah. Huh. I want to see that. I'm gonna bite your ass. That's him what's gonna red. happen. <laughs> I'm gonna bite your ass. You're gonna like it too. <laughs> him is red, though. Well, I want to get like the more I understood about him uh, and read about him, the more that I get it. Yeah, brain damage is serious. You know, it it affects your mood, it affects your personality, it affects everything about you, your cognitive function. Uh, the fact that he suffered that uh, explains a lot yeah. with how his acting career went after the eighties. Basically, yeah. it it all makes sense. And uh, but him and Silver Bullet is like I feel like a prime example of like I feel like that's the Gary Busey. If we hadn't had the accident, we would have had the entire time where he, no Gary Busey still off the fucking rails because he was a fucking bonkers in Silver Bullet. He was an... I would love to have that uncle. <laughs> like, yeah, he was... Just chugging wild turkey and build me fucking motorcycle wheelchairs. Like, Fuck yeah, dude. Let's do it. Like, dude, you got... I don't need to be your example. I just need to be your... You I know, just need uncle. to love you and I give you some shit. I just need to love shit. you take care exactly. of you, but I don't need to be your example. And that's... He wasn't. <laughs> and I loved it. But I he loved was at the same time. He was still the protector. He's the one at the end of the day yeah. was fucking killed the he, werewolf, he right? He built to this day you know? a bike that, uh, uh, you know, and uh, hopefully, you know, if anybody would need to ride into that... Uh, if I had you know, someone in my life that was paralyzed or uh, from the waist down or or whatever the case is, if they wanted, I would totally build that for them. Oh yeah, I, it's such even to this day holds up. It's such a cool fucking looking, you know, motorized wheelchair essentially. But he's but also the one that went toe to toe with the so, fucking werewolf. Like he, he got he slammed around the entire living room before he fucking got the bullet. He was getting his ass beat. Yeah, <laughs> like he took it yeah, from well, a fucking I, werewolf. Yeah, yeah, you know? he did. He didn't have to worry about trauma to the uh the he just he's the one that got the bullet mate i mean he finally believed and like like his character was so believable because i can see myself as an adult like like imagine if laura like came to you and was like hey someone says a werewolf you'd be like uh, uh, uh sure sure yeah, yeah okay i'll go get the silver yeah. bullets right now honey. Yeah. 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 yeah that's what we're gonna do yeah <laughs> boop, beep, boop, boop. <laughs> uh we have a problem here but he was just like yeah, that's what he was at first until he's yeah. like no wait what color is the what color is the uh, priest car? You know, like blue. You know, that blue. Fuck. All right, here we go. <laughs> and he went, you know, but I mean, he was an awesome character. And so that and honestly, the story uh, cycle of werewolf, I loved. You know, because I, I, I love. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge king nerd, but like, if that movie didn't have Gary Busey as Red, I feel like I wouldn't like it nearly as much. And I'm yeah. I'm honest. I'm being honest with that. I don't know uh, too many actors that would have filled that spot. Very exactly well, at all like, silver uh, bullet that's why silver bullet holds it's up it's still scary though that's the amazing thing is it's still scary and there's a lot you don't know it leaves a lot to mystery it's not in a terms huge of, amount of blood there's just enough yeah, right like, how did he become the werewolf all of that stuff is still a mystery but you didn't need that in that story it was just a story about that town and that's what makes it creepier yeah because you don't know what the fuck turned this so how the how, <laughs> how can the you priest be sure should come a fucking werewolf how can you be sure it won't fucking turn other people and it's somewhere yeah, else we're, like this are this those rules end. about priests not you know like yeah yeah i thought you were a man of god what, yeah. what are you hiding oh. yeah <laughs> well the cross you know i guess it only works against dracula oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's why you need a silver bullet not a silver cross, silver cross. oh it's still silver it was still burn them silver uh, period maybe that's, that's the one of the supernatural way it's, you know what uh, the myths i mean even in uh dog soldiers silver silver yeah no i get silver yeah. Yeah. You know, because they use a fucking pie server to step <laughs> in the fucking heart and dog do, You got to go to the underworld way, it's, you uh, know, or the, what, like silver the... nitrate or whatever. And that's how they shoot. They uh, shoot the bullet and then the silver nitrate gets into their veins. Okay. Yeah. Underworld goes into honorable mention for me because I would say really? I, I feel like yeah. uh, we probably need to start knocking out a few yeah. honorable mentions if uh, well, unless there's any 
Is there any big ones that we missed? There's yeah. one that I I enjoyed that I haven't heard come up, and that's 1996's Bad Moon. Okay. I don't think I, I've seen that. That's where the uncle is yes. in like the, the jungle, and he gets him and his partner. They're doing a, 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 a they're, I forget what, they're they're out doing getting samples and collecting samples, and they get attacked. He survives, but he brings back the curse of the werewolf, and he's living by the water in a camper. But like the nephew was like the one putting it all together because yeah. he's a kid, the kid because they have the suspension of disbelief. That's right, the dude from Streets of Fire. Yeah, that's, the dude from yeah. Streets of Fire. Yeah, he's <laughs> Eddie the Cruisers. Yeah, yeah. that's that's that that's the uncle. Yeah, he was just I just was at uh, Scares to Cares. He was t- talking about Bad Moon. I was like, yeah. that's right. I forgot about that. Shit. I forgot to write that down. It's all solid except for the fucking CGI transformation. Oh my god, yeah, which he so painful. He actually brought up in that Q and A. So bad. He's like everything was kind of gelling, but man, the the. The special effects, they definitely... That uh, final it, transformation was dog and, shit. And see, that's where you gotta give love to, like, but Underworld. They had great fucking transformation. Well, they had, they, had, they, they had built up CGI at that point. Well, by that point, yeah. Technology was definitely... Yeah, they had but you know what? I don't need my werewolves and vampires, like, in the, the in, acting like they're in the Matrix, all right? Like, like that's my only issue hey, with all, with hey, Underworld. They just right? move like they're in the Matrix. Yeah, they're no. in the real I world. Know. First, everybody's I'll, got fucking I'm gonna say this. dusters and sunglasses on and fucking... I, I, okay. That's my, back and sale in that that's my problem. Was, uh, but that's and, my problem. That's my problem with that tight leather outfit. And not to like, object, but I'm I mean, fine she's with that. Good, great actress. Like she yes. looked good because she's a beautiful woman. But yeah, I don't mean I, was, I didn't mind watching it. I mean, she knows. Like yeah, she knows. I mean, she, she wouldn't be hurt. We're not did. objectifying you. It's just like no. Outside of your acting, yes, you in a one piece leather I'm, suit. Yes, I'm sure you're a wonderful person. I don't know you personally though. <laughs> yeah. I just look at the underworld movies. On, honestly, as 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 just land of like extended like video movie music videos where everything looks really good, but I don't give a fuck about the plot or the characters. See, I give a fuck about the first two, and that leads into where I was going in with the underworld is because motherfucking William in Evolutions Underworld Two. Oh, that's badass. That's fucking son. badass, dude. Like William was. Like the fucking werewolf dude. Yeah. Like I gotta give it to that. When he like when they like open up his fucking tomb and he's been sitting there alive going insane and he steps to his brother, like the way he steps and grunts, I'm like, oh fuck. Oh well the <laughs> the only one tougher than him would be Van Helsing's uh Hugh Jackson's Wolverine. Stop fuck it. You. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Fuck that movie. <laughs> Kyle, Stop, did you Kyle. come on here just to mention all the dog shit, terrible fucking that movie was I was so ready shit. for somebody to mention that. Why would, I guess why I would we to? mention that trash fucking movie? Kyle watched that and a like, midnight show of that, and I remember because I all of us saying how fucking terrible it was. How the fuck you bring up Van Helsing is beyond the me. The movie's it's terrible. It's a werewolf movie that exists, but it's <laughs> God terrible. God damn it. It's fucking terrible. Oh, man. But Underworld Evolution, like the first two Underworld, I yeah. enjoy. I don't, like three, they lose me. And by four, I know you and I went to see it. I was like. There's a kid in it. Yeah. And, and then five, There's fuck There's a off. giant I werewolf that's what that is, is look cool. Yeah, it's cool. I that's remember, it. I remember enjoying the first one, but I just, I don't know. And maybe that's what it is. I'm just weighing down the I don't entire mind series. The side of it with the first two. Like, there was enough of action because they are strong. They're agile. Like, I just it makes don't sense. Care about then seeing, they just got stupid with it. I just don't care about seeing werewolves shoot fucking, like, werewolves shoot vampires, vampires shoot. Like, just fucking do your natural instincts and there seems to be a lot more gunplay in these than like actual fighting so you want like more... you're saying your favorite scene is like when you actually have a big motherfucker show up and fighting happens in the first one it's it barely and then the later movies it's all like like again i want to be in the matrix like equilibrium movies. meets yeah like a horror movie and that's my problem it's with like it Gunparta. is it's like embrace yeah. the like you have vampires and werewolves why the fuck do we care about the guns they have? They Actually, should be killing because their guns are geared towards their enemy, though. Like yeah. instead of the silver they, nitrate, but look, they did leave have werewolves. Leave have, leave the werewolves play, have man. the light bullets. They 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 figured out how to remember. They figured out how to like UV bullets. UV yeah. bullets. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, leave that to Blade. <laughs> uh, well, Blade didn't have that. Well, Rise of the Lycans did have a lot of the like history of their it of was their, all blood it was it, it all was, yeah. it was like you know hundreds or thousands it was just of werewolves cheesy. against it was cheesy i i like the scene where they all fucking start turning and back like in the mines or whatever yeah like doing, the last third like of the movie the final third up. of the movie still badass it's it was still badass. when he's like fucking down there getting them all riled and then yeah but last third of the movie the first two thirds was cheesy as shit you know technically michael is a werewolf he's half werewolf half 
in the in the Underworld movies. Michael half is the hybrid. Half, he's half werewolf, half vampire. I still think the I think the werewolf's more prominent because it's more of a physical feature. Yeah. Vampire is not as physical right. feature. Like look at, but that doesn't mean he's. I think I I think he's fifty fifty. Yeah. Because like he when he turns he just gets the claws and a little bit of and a little bit of fang action. He fucking turns blue or whatever. Yeah, but he's not like he doesn't get bigger and he doesn't grow fur. <laughs> Fucker! Like, that's because he's got I, a lot. I of say action. we just throw out a couple of quick honorable oh, mentions, yeah, no, like and then I one. want if we can each have a dishonorable mention because oh. I have one that's sitting there, and I really want to fucking bring this bring one up. The honorable mention, the honorable mention ones, Ginger Snaps. You know no, that, that that that's that that like that was one that I didn't bring up that was a solid for me. Okay, well that's what that's I'm, not even honorable mention. That's well, that's like, what I'm saying. That's a though, solid werewolf. I'm going the next tier down. They took it and tied it into. Fucking a woman's menstrual cycle. Yeah, that's badass. Yeah, that's awesome. The second like, one's not not so. Or good, the third though. one. Yeah, not, not yeah. so good. No, I'm talking about 2000s Ginger Snaps, the first one. Awesome werewolf movie. If you want to have a twist on a werewolf movie, Brotherhood of the Wolf. Yeah. I, yes. I, damn it. Yep. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> well, because if you want to have a twist on a werewolf movie, there's yeah. also the Company of Wolves. Yeah. Where like Angela Lansbury but, is like the granny and she's telling stories. It's like Little Red Riding Hood and Angela Lansbury and like there's all these f- there's like different stories being told during the main story. I can guarantee really though, Brother Wolf has the most martial arts you'll ever see yes. in a werewolf yes. movie. Oh, okay, the best totally. martial arts. That stair scene. I can talk. I love. I love <laughs> that movie. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and and do a uh, well. I, it's probably more dishonorable. All right. Uh, it is uh, uh, 1994's uh, Wolf. Wolf. That was the one I had. <laughs> the fucking Jack Holy Nicholson Jack and Michelle shit. Pfeiffer. Michelle Pfeiffer and James yeah. Spader. And, James and that's Spader. what I was going to say. Is if you ever like, boy, I wonder what Jack Nicholson <laughs> and James Spader will look like with bad werewolf makeup. This movie answers that question because it is fucking stupid. Now that was some like <laughs> old school like Jack Nicholson, Jack Nicholson makeup pisses shit. on James Spader's leg. He's just just marking marking my territory. I'm like, this, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> and then terrible of course movie. Jack Nicholson gets bit by a werewolf of the woods, so he turns, and it's almost like, all right, you get to put at least I'll give you an hour to put makeup on me, no more, no less. So it's really just. His face is kind of has some hair. Contacts. And then it contacts, and then his chest slightly has some hair coming out of it. And that's about it. It is the laziest fucking makeup. And then they're like, um, and Spader's like, oh, I want the same deal Jack had. I don't want a lot of makeup. So he is the same deal. It is like the budget of that movie, really, guys? It's fucking <laughs> terrible. You know where that budget went? Jack Nicholson and exactly. Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> that's exactly. It didn't go in. I'm all for Michelle so Pfeiffer. That movie is trash. So as, bad. It's got a high rating, though. It's got a really high rating oh, oh, for I'll what watch. it is. That's a that's a beautiful disaster as well. Yeah, I wanted oh. to throw that on there. Yeah, that's a terrible oh. fucking movie. That uh, might be a schlock abuse more than a beautiful disaster. I don't know <laughs> if I want to intentionally talk about that for more than 30 minutes. I would say uh, uh, my honorable mentions would be I, oh, so I've got two really big ones I'm going to get across. Uh, I've got to talk about the werewolf scene in 2007's Trick or Treat. Bam. That's fucking, that's butter. Like, the, the effects weren't amazing, the but it was, was. The transformation was. When they pull the f- their skin off, yeah. and then she unzips, quote, that quarter skin. awesome. It's not to the full reveal where you're like, I liked it better when you were taking your skin off than actually seeing you as a werewolf. So yeah. she's like opinion. wearing the skin like a suit. Yeah. Kind of like in the Company of Wait. Wolves. The Company of Wolves film in the eighties. Trick or treat now. What? Okay. I've not God seen it. All right, it. we're making a fucking list. Oh, Kyle. God. Okay. You know how you we went to this prioritize is why you dog guys soldiers. Do what you do. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is why you do the horror movie thing. You can. All teach right. Me so some we shit. we're no. gonna have a night of trick or treat no, and dog soldiers. You just need to like have a movie night on the projector, and he makes his ass over here. Yeah. We need to go to a cabin in the fucking, like... No, no, no. There's too much planning there. Just fucking come to my house. We'll... We gotta go somewhere I... uninterrupted. Like, you can watch those movies and, and just chill. That's true. We just need to tie him up, a la Clockwork Orange, put his eyes up there, and just Fair. insert all these movies in. Fair. Yeah. No, please don't tie him. And, uh, and uh, the other honorable scene would be 2011's Cabin in the Woods. That fucking werewolf in that fucking movie. Yeah. Woo! He was badass. When he came out of the dark, when they were riding the elevator down, I'm like, holy shit, where they were riding the cube around. Not down, but they were riding that cube around. And then when he got let out, dude, he did, he just fucking murdered everything. <laughs> Hot damn. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah one more, and it's it, they're, they're werewolves are barely in it, but the time they're in there, laugh my ass off, and that's what we do in the shadows. Because we, yeah. are, we are werewolves, not swearwolves. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah you yeah. got to bring that up. I mean- 
Yeah, yeah. They're, they're very much very small part of that that movie, but um, wait, I, that, was Eddie Munster? This is so left field. Was Eddie Munster? He was a werewolf. I'm pretty sure he was the yeah. werewolf. Yeah, he was a werewolf in the series. In yeah. the series, so he gets an honorable mention. Yeah, any monster. <laughs> yeah, he was a werewolf. Yeah, and uh, uh, another honorable mention we brought up earlier, but I mean, if we're talking about werewolf films, fucking Teen Wolf is awesome. You got to bring it up, fucking Teen Wolf, man. <laughs> yeah, that I mean, movie's awesome. Teen it's awesome. Great, it's, it's ridiculous a, as shit. It's all about I Teen love Wolf it. too. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? Why you Turn his mic this? off. His mic goes Why off. Why are you doing this? I hear this? one more shitty Why are you sequel Why are you that you doing are going to bring up. I've waited uh, all... Uh, I, I oh. drove up here knowing... You know who stars sure. in Teen Wolf 2, right? Jason Bateman. Jason yes. Bateman. Why are you doing this? Literally killed his career <laughs> for years. <laughs> You know what Michael J. Fox did after this? More, more good I, movies. I love the fact that <laughs> Teen Wolf one is so ridiculous because he turns into a wolf, and then he's really good at playing basketball. And everybody's like, "Well, yeah, I don't want to steal a basketball from a fucking <laughs> werewolf." Would you want to fight and a then, werewolf? And then the second one, the guy, the guy goes, "Well, hold on. If he was good at basketball, couldn't werewolves also be good at wrestling?" And you're like, "Boxing, boxing, boxing." boxing. No, I thought it was. You sure it was, it was wrestling? I'm positive it was boxing. Okay, okay. okay. Positive it was Still, boxing. Who, I wouldn't want to get punched by a fucking werewolf. No, it's just so stupid. It's, <laughs> it's and so, they made that movie. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like playing it, basketball. It is. Team it Wolf is. itself. Yeah, and I'm pretty. Sure, I think I had read or saw a somewhere within a documentary that that uh, allegedly Tom, um, Michael J. Fox hated making Teen Wolf. He had to wear a lot of fucking makeup. Well, Jesus Christ! It wasn't oh, just like... that. He thought it was stupid. <laughs> it is stupid. Well, it is stupid. It but stupid. it's the '80s, all right. Like, yes, it is. Alleged, he's allegedly. on top of a van, riding down the street, dancing to Surfing USA. Still a great fucking scene. <laughs> You know that's the beauty of a movie like that, and how well it's done. That's that's your Michael J. Fox at the, in, in his prime, sort of like. I done Back to the Future. I got my name out. Like I've done my shit. Here I'm think, gonna do this. I think was Back to the Future after. I think Back to the Future was after Teen oh, Wolf. It was because uh, Teen Wolf was no Teen Wolf was like eighty two. Right? Teen Wolf they're was, really close together. Yeah, yeah they're I really mean, close. Back to the Future was eighty four. Yeah. Because he had to jump back and forth between, uh, but see, here's the thing. Again, family ties. At, at least that yeah, was yeah, early yeah. in his career. But man, Jason Bateman, you knew it was gonna be stupid. You still got in it. It killed your career for years. Well, he needed a he got a role, so he's like, felt like rest of the development was happening back in the eighties. That's true. <laughs> like, anyway, all right, all right, all right. Are we in, are we getting close to the questions? Oh, we're getting oh, close we're, to the questions. Yeah, we're about we're, to do, we're yeah. about we're about there because. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna cover it up for our favorite uh, and least favorite <laughs> werewolf films. Talking to you, Wolf. there are there are tons, <laughs> there are tons I mean, more. There's, to, there's, hun- there's hundreds. There's bro. tons more to talk about, yeah. but this is what we could fit in for this this werewolf extravaganza we got going on. So, uh, but before, but we're not completely done. You know, we always got another little little tidbit for you, a little segment. But before we get to that, we just got to talk to you about uh, going to giipodcast.com. And checking out our Amazon link. You click on that link, you shop through Amazon like normal. And uh, we just get a little kickback and we appreciate that shit because podcasting ain't free. And any little bit of help we can get is awesome. Thank Honestly, you so much. We need to get Kyle some more fucking movies. So yeah. stop referencing the more money we get back sequels. from you shopping through Amazon where you don't pay more could educate. buy us him could buy him more movies. Yeah. Kyle, the <laughs> smash is education. It's a smash yeah. fund. Yeah. Horror movie education fund. Jesus fuck me. Just any movie education fund. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Stop watching terrible sequels. Dude, like everything like not everything. I would say like sixty percent of what you mentioned has been really bad. Oh, <laughs> oh I know. And you forget who my audience is. I am very well aware of how I came equipped. I told you I came equipped. That is true. He did. I think he was strictly trying to piss you off on her. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. 100%. So, uh, and uh, right next to our Amazon link is T Public. You click on that link, and that takes you to our merch store. We have designs for every show under the network. Every show has at least two. Um, Kyle himself is involved with Geek Fathers. Yep. You know, I uh, smash it up. FU Hunter is involved with Beautiful Disasters outside of. The madness. So they all have designs. Check that shit out. We'd love to see people rocking shirts, hoodies, fucking a tote bag, fucking tapestry, notebook, mug, tumbler. So much shit. So much shit. Please check that shit out. And while you're on GIPodcast.com, check out all the other shows on the network. There are something there is something for everybody. Uh please. It's all nerd centric, but nothing is the same. Check that shit out. And now that that's over with it, it's time for Stump, the host. 
All right. Another stump to fucking host. <laughs> Hunter's in the fucking lead. Yes, I you went, you went back up to four, I believe. I believe you're leading by four. I ain't four. saying shit, because last time yeah. I acknowledged that shit, I started going on a losing streak. So, I, I, I yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, yeah. but you were just going back up to four after I got up to where I got him up to a two. Yeah. And then I got, yeah, I, then he, I, I started getting worried. Down. Yes, I was talking shit for a little while, got up to four, and then I was like, you know what? I ain't gonna say shit. So and then he got back up to four. Mm, so. Game on, good sir. Uh, so yes. Smash, mm, okay. you get to decide who goes first. Oh. Mm. All right, I'll go with fuck you, Hunter. All right, mm. bring it on. All right, some of these are. Can you read it like you did the some first of these episode? Are, are very much intentionally <laughs> ma- designed so that you, none of you can answer, or you just give us the answer to the question. Oh, and you're then... such a dick. All uh, right. Okay. If this is a riddle, I'm gonna fucking punch you in the face. <laughs> It's about altered beast. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alter beast. <laughs> That's a great depiction of a werewolf from a digital gaming. Stage. All right, get Stop. on. You're, you're, literally, you're stalling. You're stalling. Okay. All right. Who played the werewolf in the movie Silver Bullet? And um, I have a I have a second question, but I'm going to aim that towards you. Motherfucker, I can't I think can, of that. I can steal it. All right. Well, no, I can time, steal his. How much yeah. time does he get? It's, it's supposed to be instant. So, But I mean, I'll give him time. I'll give him a few seconds. I can't think of that Who dude's played, name. Yes. <laughs> Who so. played the werewolf in the movie Silver Bullet? I might have his name wrong, but it's uh, Everett McGill. Correct. God damn. It. Boom, bitch. I can tell you other credits, but uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I can't think of. And now, name. even though I stole it, it's still my turn because you have to well, ask now, me a question. Well, now you're gonna get. I, now I feel like you're totally gonna. Is get it a the, separate question? No, no. Well, what was the character's full name? Oh, in Silver shit. Bullet. Shit. So that's his question, right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Damn. Uh, I wish I, I had watched Silver Bullet or sooner. I, I did watched watch earlier, but I didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> God damn. Uh, What's the time limit again? I don't know. Go ahead. I don't fucking know it. <laughs> Reverend bites you a lot. I have no uh, idea. It's, it's Reverend... Uh, oh, Lovejoy. Reverend Lovejoy. Lovejoy. No, no, at a certain point in the movie, they just call him the... They, they don't call him by his full name. So like I Rev? Don't, I don't know. I don't it's know. It's totally a pedophile name, I swear to God. Mm-hmm. Uh, Reverend Lester Lowe. Oh, ah. but I got the I got the so it's one zero. Your second, yep. your second, second go. Question. There okay. Go. I um uh wait. I'm asking you now. Right. right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. What year was Monster Squad released? Eighty five. Final answer. Yeah. Final. Incorrect. Do you want to try to steal it? Oh. God damn. I'm gonna it. go with eighty seven. Correct. Nice. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. So I guess this goes to you. Yep. We're gonna change that. Mm. <laughs> this is where it gets hard. <laughs> oh, that, this is where it gets yeah. hard. This motherfucker. No, he, all right. We bitch. He's yeah. bringing it. Yep. He's bringing it this time. I'll give yeah. it to you. The early. What is the earliest story or myth of the werewolf? Not in movies. I'm talking of within human history. What is the earliest story or myth of the werewolf or man to wolf? <sighs> That's why none of you are going to get this. No. And so if you get this, I'd be fucking shocked. I know that there's a link between. Uh, Native Americans taking Jemson weed, and they're they were told they were said to wolf out on this weed that's local, that's like native to Virginia, um, because it would make them like it's like it, it makes you hallucinate, but it would also make them wolf out. But I don't know the exact answer to this. No, Beowulf. <laughs> no, yeah, Beowulf was one of the it first a- superhero. You know what? We'll talk about this <laughs> shit later. Beowulf isn't a great. Is the original like one of the original? No, Beowulf's yeah. awesome. It's the original I don't know what the fuck you're just talking about. Beowulf's awesome. Know. I'm like, no, I'm just thinking like in the book. Is they mention anything about like he wasn't a wolf? He was a he was a. No, I'm not talking about the main a- character, but along his way, is there if there was okay, a so this creature? Is your, this is back to this, this is, this is how I knew. It's actually the Epic of Gilgamesh uh, in 2100 BC. Oh god! Wow, that's nerd. How, that's how that's how far it goes. All right. This is your third question. See so yeah, how you do. Yeah, pressure's on. Mm-hmm. You just get one and steal from me, and then I'll give you two and two. Now, mind you, this question, and I'll give it a little tidbit, is where the lycan like like lycanthropy in terms of the oh, fuck. the term He's used way too much. comes into comes into play, right? right. Mm-hmm. In human history. And this is my question. In Greek mythology, <sighs> who turned King Lycan uh, into a wolf as a punishment? In Greek mythology, fuck. All right, oh. is Greek the same? Um, I'm gonna just go with the staple answer of Zeus. 
They're fun. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yeah. All right. There you go. It's two to <laughs> well, one. I, I was just like, that one should be pretty easy because yeah. who has the power? I'll be honest. Zeus. I can only think of Zeus. So, so a, that a, was. Cool you bit know, there's a lot more. Yeah. Cool, I understand. Like Aries a cool bit of. Uh, no, I know them. The only one I could think of off the top of my head to throw out there was Zeus. Because no, well, I figured I mean, yeah, you he's have king to. shit of fuck yeah, out. That's so. what I was going to say if he didn't answer cool anything. Big, uh, cool bit of history is that King, uh, king uh, Lycaon uh, served uh, human meat to. Zeus, or he was invited up uh, to Olympus, and he served human meat and to Zeus, and Zeus was so angry that he that he cursed him to become a man to wolf. He oh, would turn from man to wolf, and in Greek mythology, that's how that started. Mm. Like, he was just a dick, and he got what deserved. That's so that right. kind of goes no, with like the tortured that. soul, all right, which man. we're talking about. Like so this that. goes to Steven. God damn, if you get this, you win. Right, I if have, not, I can I have, steal and possibly well, no, survive. No, no, I have this, and then I have a bonus question. Well, if, he, he, if he steals it, that'll tie us. If, if so, he doesn't know it, I still win. So yeah. the bonus question can still help, though. Right? It could. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm saying. All right, so oh, second this. to last question. What actor played the very first werewolf in a moving picture? Lon Chaney Sr. Incorrect. Oh, shit. Lon Chaney Jr.? No, <laughs> I fucking knew none of you would get this. I didn't even know. Was he played? I thought he. No, he played Phantom of the. He played Phantom. Remember what I said? The earliest, the the, uh, the very oh, first werewolf God in a moving it. picture. Mm. Motherfucker, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah never yeah, mind. You know, we all we both yeah. answered. So the answer is Henry Hall. Mm. A bonus question: Do you know what movie? The name of the movie that was released, and it was 1935. Don't werewolf go out at London? night. What? Werewolf in London. Werewolf of London. Of London, yes. yeah. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> that was just a funny little I thought that was Long Chaney Sr., though. Fuck me. No. Henry Hall. <laughs> Damn it. I had no idea. Long Chaney Sr. wasn't well, much later on. No, no. Junior was later on. Senior was silent film still. Senior yeah. was in silent film. Henry Hall. No, I I, I, believe, I agree with... I, I'm not denying that. I'm just saying, like, you think the first were, the first Wolfman came out in 41, and that was Long Chaney Jr. But he wasn't in Senior was movie. Senior was the original fan of the opera... He was the original um, Jekyll and Hyde. So I, I, I just kind of Senior assumed... was the wolf, yeah, the original Wolfman in terms of how we know him. Well, it's just how he is how he wore his prosthetics, like right. a very painful. The Werewolf no, that's, of London. I, 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 that's se- yeah, totally it's a separate thing. Yeah. Werewolf of he London. Was yeah, the first ever Werewolf and Moving Picture. Yeah, Werewolf Henry of Hull. God damn it! So it's three to one. That's right. Oh, I fucking lost. Okay, oh. I, I texted myself. This this one's for me, and I can't fucking wait till you both get it wrong. Okay, I mean, this is, this is for shits and giggles. I was saying, say, Lowdown's already won. That you've seen. He just wants. He just wants shits and giggles. I, okay. He wants. He wants shits and giggles. <laughs> That's true. What is the name of the actor that has been a werewolf in two different films? And I'll give you one film: Monster Squad. And what sucks is like I know I just shared that the actor that's being Wolfman in Monster Squad is coming to the expo in October. I yeah, he's also name, the but... uncle from Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, I can't yeah. think of his fucking name. Yeah, I can't think of his fucking name. <laughs> Bert Schweizel? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't have no Whatever. idea. Uh, John Cries. Yeah. John or John Cries, or Cries, however it's All right, so what was, the, the, other the, other movie? What was the other movie? Was, yeah. uh, the second movie? Do you you want to guess it first? You're Is gonna it going to be you're stupid? You're going to fucking kick yourself mm. when I answer this for you. Mm. So this one could be a deciding factor. Not really, because he still only got one. Yeah, that's I already got one. So yeah, I've already, I've already seen it. This is just fun. Uh, Fright Night Two, 1988. Ugh. Who the fuck was even? Like, of course, uh, <laughs> I should have taken the ma- done the math. <laughs> take good movie, and then Kyle would have brought Why? up yes! sequel, shitty sequel Why? to Why? that good movie. I totally you have brought up I totally... Fright Night Two. Yep. Fucking what? Well, American Werewolf in Paris. Yeah. Uh, what? Like there has been two other shitty fucking movies you, you have know brought what? up. All planned, and you the bastard. best thing is that it w- that last question. I was so hoping I was that was going to be would be perfect for how the conversation went. I can ask for better. You know what? There's a Friday Night Two. The, you never <laughs> Friday, Night Friday Night Two. Two? It's no. about the sister of 19, Jerry yeah, Dandridge. Yeah, whatever. John, Cr- John Christ. Goes, I've seen it. It's not good. Straight from Monster Squad goes into that. Jesus. And becomes a werewolf in that. Yeah, I've seen it. It's not good. Yeah, it's so. his sister that like runs this high rise, and the same main character has to kill Jerry Dandridge's sister. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, fuck that movie. And you know what? You got a name. Fuck you, Wait, Kyle. You're in a whole different. Are you talking about the remake of Fright Night Two? No, I'm talking about Red Blood. Fright Night Two, 1988 version. Yes, All it's right, his yeah. sister, and she lives in a high rise. She doesn't live in a, in a suburban town. 
I yeah, think, motherfucker, yeah, no, don't, don't question me no, on this shit. I, I just watched it, so I think you're wrong. Motherfucker, don't question me on no, this shit. No, because it's all about Charlie from the original Fright Night who goes to college. Yeah, but the new vampire is, is Jerry Dandridge's sister. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah, you are correct about that, but I don't remember the high rise. I remember a big building, but not it's a high a big rise. Building. Building. Excuse me. It's the a movie. big fucking building. The movie well, yeah, sucked you dick. You threw me off. It did. God, it we didn't agree the movie sucked balls. You know, again, the werewolf didn't look half bad. Like some yeah, of their, that their doesn't make up for great. It didn't make up for <laughs> no, <it> the <laughs> other ninety percent of the movie. But think about that. Uh, he has been two werewolves. One uh, iconic to me and and classic because the greatest depiction of werewolf is Monster Squad to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the fact that he went from that and was just like, yeah, I'll do another another werewolf. And then he, was in, then he was in like Real Genius, I think. So oh, ra- around Kilmer. the same time, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was in Real Genius. He was yeah, Laszlo. He was. Yeah, he was Laszlo. Holy yeah. shit. So you could so, ask that question. I don't fucking know. Laszlo. Yeah. But all right, all right. Anyway, if you Hunter got his name for a reason, I feel like Kyle is coming close to something similar yeah. with that. <laughs> we'll with think of something with Kyle. God <laughs> damn it. I th- hey, you asked me to come. I uh, did. Prepared. You came correct. We'll call him low uh, blow smash or something. <laughs> fucking low hanging fruit smash. <laughs> Jesus. All right. No. S- smash it to balls. Thank you for being on. Uh Smash. It was a it was a it was a lot of fun talking. Lycanthropy. It was awesome. Like we went across the gamut on it, and there's thought, there could be a whole other episode minimum yeah. of talking about this. But this is what we got: Dog Days of Summer, baby. Got to talk about the woo woo woo. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I know, I know what I just did. Yeah, I know. Edited in, in a like werewolf, actual werewolf howl. I have those saved, so I can do that. Oh, yeah, good, good. Edit that right over top of what you just did. Well, let's hear Kyle let's do his impression of one right now. Oh, no, I can't. I tried. I don't have the... See, the beauty oh, is I can oh. edit all this out. Yeah. yeah. Oh! That was kind of no, worse. That was terrible. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> now now you should this. leave it. I'm going to leave mine in. <laughs> I can do the growl. <sighs> no. That's yeah. not like you want to fuck something. No. <laughs> I gr- in heat. I mean, a werewolf in heat. No, geez, they're always in heat. That's the point in the whole attract. Never mind. They never fuck. <sighs> Maybe Underworld. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. Thanks everyone for listening. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I won this one, so now we're down to Hunter's still up by three. If you yep. Hunter's still up by three, man, yep. you still got me by the balls. Just bring me on a few more times. Well, yeah, we'll knock we'll knock you're we'll the knock fucking ringer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime uh, I want to swig it around, yeah, yep, Kyle just showed right. his cards. Yeah, get me on. I'll get you back up to where the level is. Sorry, Hunter, you didn't know the answers. Fucking to the busted. Fucking, yeah. you should have known the answers. Nah, uh, you're right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, until we talk to you again, uh, embrace the madness. by movie studios that keep rehashing the same things. Only one podcaster has the guts to make it even worse. Join Mike the Hobbit as he traverses the internet to bring you some of the best and worst ideas for reboots, remakes, and reimaginings of some of your favorite and least favorite TV and film properties. Ideas like a John Waters He-Man movie, Fantastic Four the Musical, and Aliens, done entirely with marionettes. What podcast would bring this evil upon the world? This is Smack My Pitch Up. Available anywhere you get your podcasts. Hey guys, Scotty Big Daddy Preston here, that's right, the Geek Father, asking you to join me here every other week with friends and family of the GUI Network as we go through all the trials and tribulations of being a geeky parent. So remember, join us or cry. My name is Amy Bogard. And I'm Mike the Hobbit. And we are the hosts of Deeply Upsetting, where we use our expertise to answer your most upsetting hypothetical quandaries, such as what non wigged animal deserves wings? And what body part deserves a secret mouth? Which cryptid is the worst roommate? These questions and more that plague you will be answered on Deeply Upsetting, available anywhere you get your podcasts and at GUIPodcast.com.